We have recently updated our pod grid sets and they now have a new look and feel whilst keeping the familiar structure of pod. They are also now available as an additional purchase in both Grid 3 and Grid for iPad. If you are interested in adding pod to Grid, visit our website at thinksmartbox.com forward slash pod where you can find out more information on purchasing a license. Once you've made your purchase and added the grid sets, you can see we still offer a range of versions of pod with different cell counts and levels of language complexity. We also have versions that include language centered around preschool or school settings, so you can choose the pod that is right for you. In grid three, you also have the option to choose iGaze ready grid sets, which have rest and speak cells throughout so that they can be accessed by iGaze users. What's really nice about the new pod grid sets is that it's really easy to add in extra vocabulary to the blank cells that you'll find throughout the grid sets. And I'm going to show you how to do this in grid for iPad now. So I'm going to open the pod 15 preschool grid set on my iPad. And if you're familiar with pod, you'll recognize the home grid. I'm going to select greetings and manners. And you can see that there are some blank cells where you could add some more vocabulary. I'm going to add another greeting. I want a cell that says, hey. So I can select the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen and choose edit grids. You know you're in edit mode when you see the orange border around the screen. And then I can select the cell that I want to edit. The option to edit cell pops up. And if I choose it, it will zoom into the cell that I've selected. I can then tap on the text bar to add what I want to say. In this case, hey. And if I tap the picture icon, then it will offer me some possible symbols. I can choose one of these or select find symbol and then symbols to search for my own. I'm going to search for wave. Once I've found one I want, I can select it to add it to my cell. Then I tap done in the top left corner and you can see my new cell has been added. I could repeat the process to add more vocabulary wherever I see a blank cell or tap finish editing, to save my changes. You'll find blank cells like this throughout the grid set, sometimes on the second or third grid in the section as you can see here in chat words. Most categories have a whole grid of blank cells where you can add vocabulary. Don't forget to personalize the people grid by going to categories and then people and adding the names of family or friends here. Also the About Me grid, which you can access by going back to the main page, going to Greetings and Manners, and then About Me. The cells in this grid can be edited in the same way as before and often have a sentence starter pre-programmed. For example, if I, edit, if I enter edit mode by tapping the three dots and edit grids, and then select the I Live cell and tap Edit cell, you can see the symbol is already chosen and I can simply finish the sentence by adding where I live. And then tapping done. And finish editing. So that's a quick introduction to our updated pod grid sets and how to use them in grid for iPad. For more information about anything covered in this video, visit our website at www.thinksmartbox.com or get in touch via any of the usual support routes.